Hi guys, today I want to talk about PUBG and how to suck less. I've been playing the game for about 340 hours and I'm still, you know, quite bad, but not as bad as before. I understand the strategy, I know exactly what to do, but when it comes to one versus one inside a room, you can be sure I'll die. And this comes down to the fact that I'm more of a console gamer now, and this feels very natural to me. This doesn't feel natural at all. So if you're like me and you spend a lot of time on consoles, these are seven tips to suck less at PUBG. So it might not be very obvious because controllers are supported in the game, but you really need to use a mouse. You're surrounded by experienced PC gamers who play CS and Battlefield. They will aim for your head, so you'll need to do the same. Controllers are not designed for this you will start with a massive disadvantage. Ditch the controller and embrace the dark side. If you're like me and you're not a fan of playing with a keyboard, remove some of the complexity and remap some of the actions to your mouse. If you have a gaming mouse, chances are you will have at least three extra buttons. I've added the fire mode, the reload, and the action button on my mouse. And it's way easier this way. So, if you used to play with a controller, chances are you won't be very accurate with the mouse. It means that when you shoot, you will place 50% of the bullets in the wall behind the target and 50% of the rest in his legs. Since hitting the legs doesn't do a lot of damage, it means that very often you will run out of bullets before killing your target. And by the way, when you run out of bullets in this game, you die. Make sure you have some extending mags attached to all your weapons. You can get five items in your inventory, two AR, one gun, one grenade, and one melee. Well, it means that if you're quickly trying to flick through them, you will have a 45% chance to grab the wrong item and bring a pan to a gunfight. So the first thing I do when I find an AR, I ditch my gun and my melee weapon. In this case, less is more. No idea how many times I died using an 8x or a 4x scope. I always forget that I have it on and I use it inside a building. So one good advice, stick with the red dot. The red dot is the best sight in the game, especially if people jump around. So the sound of the game is amazing. You will know where people are shooting from, and if you pay attention, you will also know when people are sneaking up on you. If you just play using the speakers of your computer, you will be at a disadvantage because a lot of people are using fancy headsets. Best way to stay alive in the game is to use first person and lean. So to hit the target, you need to go first person and lean right or lean left. It's a pain in the ass to master, but you will have to use that all the time. So start practicing today. Well, I hope you find this video useful and this tip will help you to suck a bit less. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, even if you listen to all these tips and you understand the strategy and everything, it's very random, it's a bit like playing poker. Um, you might be at the right place at the right time, or you might be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.